Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the second time I'm recording this video because the first time went uh, really catastrophically wrong. The lighting was all off, I had like sunshine in my eyes, and also I wasn't in shop for most of it. Well done there, Charlotte. So today's video is a video that I never thought I would have to make because I thought I knew the risks and I thought I could mitigate the risks and I thought that I would, you know, I would never, you know, have to make a video warning people of this because, you know, I thought that I wouldn't be so stupid to do something like that and burn myself. So today's video is basically the story of me burning myself three weeks ago with a hot water bottle. <sighs> So basically, yeah, three weeks ago I burnt myself with a hot water bottle um, and I actually got a second degree burn. Um, and I know it's second degree because it was a massive blister for a week. And then it burst. So what happened was obviously, as many people in the chronic illness community know with pain, um, heat is life. Heat is amazing but he can also be dangerous and I knew that and I you know I never use my hot water bottle with you know out covers you know I don't use them if I, you know they feel too warm like in the covers um, but on this occasion my covers are velcroed shut and the velcro failed um, and had come undone and I'd kind of heard the like <laughs> whatever noise of velcro ripping um but i kind of didn't realize it had, how far it had slipped um and i'll get to that in a minute put my leg on the um hot water bottle um, my right like shin and i felt like kind of prickly um and i just thought you know it's the rough side of the velcro which faces full because the hot water bottle was face down on my bed, uh, facing up with the velcro, um, facing up on my bed. Um, and so I thought nothing of it, just put my leg on it, uh, you know, kept it probably on there for a little bit, was like, mm, it's a bit prickly. Moved it, sealed the cover, went to sleep with the whole water bottle in my bed. I didn't realize I had burnt myself until probably 48 hours later. I know I'd done something to my leg about 24 hours later, but I hadn't even realized that I'd burnt myself. So I didn't run it under cold water, I didn't, you know, do all of those things you're supposed to do to cool the burns, stop them getting, you know, really bad. So I just, you know, went about my business and just, you know, used my, you know, went about my business, put on, je like, skinny jeans in the morning because I had work, um, you know, and I wanted to be a bit smarter. Put them on was kind of like, why why does this like hurt so much you know my shin was like really painful and sore so i was like gently rubbing it and i was like oh that feels better um and either that was when you know i i basically friction burned the burn um and that you know made it blister or you know i'd just been really unobservant when i got dressed in my sleep deprived state as you know 8 30 in the morning or whenever i was getting dressed and hadn't noticed there was a blister on my leg, either or. Um, and, you know, didn't realize until I took my jeans off and I had a massive blister. And again, I didn't even realize I'd burnt myself because I hadn't made the connotation between the prick cleanness and burning because my leg was so cold, I couldn't feel that it was hot. All I could feel was like, you know, Velcro. It felt like Velcro, um, you know, the, it felt like this. You know, it even sounded like this to be fair. Um, you know, it felt like that on my on my leg. So I just, you know, went about my business as usual. Um, you know, was like, yeah, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. You know, found this massive blister on my leg and it had like a red kind of patch around it. And I was like, oh my god, what have I done? So, you know, instantly my two things go to I've got an allergic reaction or an infection. 
I don't know how I've got an infection. What what am I allergic to? The only thing that had changed in those like few days was that I'd gone to my boyfriend's house and I slept in his sheets. But that was four or five days before. You know, I don't think his laundry detergent would would have made me break. You know, react like that. So you know, we go about our way. Um, you know, I put on, I take an antihistamine because if it is an allergic reaction, it will go down. And I also put on, um, you know, and I also made sure to keep the area as clean as I could. Um, and also I didn't want this blister to burst. So I covered it with, um, cause we had no kind of like medical supplies, um, in that form of like gauze and tape and things like that at my boyfriend's. So I used cotton pads <laughs> with um, my strapping tape that I um, take in case like my ankle plays off and things like that. So I had those and that was it. Um, and then, you know, I kind of thought about it because you know, the first thing that people who I'd shown it to had asked me was like, have you burnt yourself? And I was like, no, I haven't burnt myself. And then I started processing it and then I realized that this feeling wasn't the Velcro. The cover had slipped. My leg had gone on to the hot, a hot water bottle that was too hot and it had burnt me. And, you know, I feel so ashamed and so annoyed with myself because I thought I knew better. Like I thought I knew how to protect myself, you know, and for it not to go like this. But anyway. I, what he's done is done, but three weeks later, it's still healing. Um, I have seen a pharmacist and it wasn't infected 10 days ago. Um, I <laughs> just like moved my leg and imitated it. It wasn't infected 10 days ago, so hopefully um, it's still okay now. Um, I'm kind of using homemade saline water. It's the pharmacist said that was better than the antiseptic stuff you can buy anyway. At least in her opinion it was. So I've been doing that, which stings so bad. Um, you know, to try and get it to heal. Um, the scab just keeps like breaking down because um, obviously the blister burst. Um, but basically the dressings aren't helping it, but at the same time, because my legs get cold and because it's Britain and for some reason in April it keeps snowing, um, I can't walk around in shorts or dresses or things like that. So it's kind of like trying to find the balance of being able to sleep and not like pull the scab off sleeping, but also not pulling the scab off by having a dressing on it. Um, so I'm seeing the practice nurse at my GP surgery. Um, for you Americans, that's like our family practitioner or whatever you guys call them, just to see what she thinks, to see if it needs to be sort of seen by a doctor. But yeah. I wanted to make this video not to be like, oh boo hoo, look at me, I burnt myself with a hot water bottle. Because I haven't really seen much on social media about this in the chronic illness community. You know, I see posts about people warning about heat pads, repetitive use on, especially in the stomach areas, you can get um, a rash for. But I haven't really seen much about, you know, the fact you can literally burn your skin to a third degree level. Uh, not third degree, second degree level, simply by touching it on a hot water bottle that's too warm. Um, so please, 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 if you're using hot water bottles, you know, make sure you have the cover on properly. If you have the slightest indication that the cover might have fallen off or has come loose, check it and fix it. Try not to fall asleep with hot water bottles in your bed. I am guilty of that and I probably will still keep doing it. So you know, back to what I preach, I guess, not. But if you can, try and avoid doing that and sleeping with something like, I have an electric blanket, throw blanket, and before I go to sleep, I'll heat that up if I'm having a bad night and I'll put it over the duvet or over me and then the duvet over the top so it keeps the heat in and keeps it nice and warm. Um, duvet for Americans is comforters, by the way. Um, and I will also, you know, and also like think about using other things that have a bit more like controllability and less danger to them. 
So things like I have like my heated blanket, I prefer to use that now. Um, I only really use hot water bottles at my boyfriend's because I don't have two of them and I can't go carting them back and forth every other weekend. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video. I wanted to raise awareness about what heating, heating um, your body or like using tools that can heat your body um, can actually do and to kind of warn everyone, especially with hot water bottles, to be really, really careful because, you know, you may think, oh, it's fine. I, you know, I use them safely. I thought I was the same and then I burnt myself. So please be really careful. Um, yeah, because the last thing I want is this to happen to someone else. Um, so I thought I'd make this video because I think it's so important. So if you think the same, share it um, with your friends, you know, and make a bit more of a awareness about it because honestly, like I said, I never thought it would happen to me. Um, so you probably think the same thing. Um, and that's pretty much all. It's probably quite a short video. I hope you enjoyed it, um, or at least found it informational slash kind of awareness and awareness inducing, I guess. <laughs> and I will be back um, in two weeks' time on Tuesday for a vlog uh, in my week. I'm filming it this week. And I make sure you give this video a thumbs up as well. And I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs>